Okay, are you one of those people who keep crashing your homing switches on your XCOV and destroying them, especially the Z-axis? I do it constantly, probably went through about, I don't know, a handful of switches, seven, eight of them. I actually have some more on order now. Um, but while I was doing that, I came up with a workaround to make these homing switches into limit switches on the XCOV. Um, there was always a way around it from what I heard of using shielded cable, but there's only one issue with that. Who the hell wants to rewire their whole XCOV going through the drag chains and everything with shielded cable? Not to mention, well, you know, you're going to spend at least, you know, fifty to seventy five dollars if you're using the XCOV 1000 like I am because even if you go to Home Depot you're looking at about a dollar a foot I believe maybe a little less I don't know anyway I made up three little circuit boards which I'm actually gonna turn into one circuit board that you hook your wire switches that currently go into the garble um, to the G-Shield you currently hook them into the small screws on the circuit board I made and then you connect other wires, any spare wire you have around a uh, small tiny piece will do um, they go into your board as well as um, it also plugs into your 5 volt in your Arduino as well as your ground in your Arduino so it's basically a total of five um, connections. It's the two coming from the switch, from the negative and positive of the switch, or open and close, however you wish to look at it, as well as uh, positive five volt, negative, and the and the uh, connection to the original uh, G shield. I'll put a diagram up if that's a little tough to follow but I wanted to show you how it works it basically uses the hard limits and thanks to the circuit which is basically a nice low pass filter there is no more crashing now if you can look I did it here on universal g-code sender I have it set to 20 inches if you could see that um, not something you ever really want to do but just for this to show you, okay, so there's the y-axis, there is the corner, sorry, I'm on my little iPhone 4S here, which probably has the worst video in the world, um, time to upgrade my phone, and no, in any case, um, so you could see it here, we're just going to press go and see what happens, normally it would smack right into the front um, rail, but here we go. No fear, stops right there. Now you could see on the screen here, where is it? So your hard limit has been enabled, and all you're going to do from there is um, I'm sorry, you press soft reset, which is right up top there to reset out of the alarm, and then whenever you have an alarm, meaning you know, obviously something went wrong. Um, the machine would no longer know where it was, so you want to home it again. And yes, the homing switches work fine, being both homing switches and uh, limit switches. So, once you're back and once you get homed, which it's currently doing right now, now it's homed, you now have, we're going to go, we're going to bring this down away from the, I'm going to go to one inch so we don't start smacking in again.